Hi, welcome to the Nifty Kit overview. And we're going to be talking about Dropkit, where this is what it looks like when you get inside the interface. And you're looking at the main section here. I have a couple contracts that I've launched, and they show up each one in its own little area. So it kind of to, to walk through what you're looking at here, at the very top you have the Nifty Kit button that brings you back to this part of the window. Okay, so if you ever like get lost, you click that Nifty Kit button at the top, brings you right back to right here. So the Create button at the top gives you the same options as this one down here, but also accessible um, at the top, so that helps. Uh, the, the gas right now, uh, 25.89 GUE, so that gives you an example of what it's going to cost to deploy or to mint. That price is relative to um, the amount of activity going through the Ethereum network at this time and the demand for processing new transactions. So um, under, the, under the account, you can go to your profile. And so we'll go there and take a look at what we have. That is this page. I, didn't, I knew that. Account settings gives you kind of like, oh, you can manage your subscription and manage your dropkit pass. So I have the basic creator pass, which is 5% royalties. You can change your name here, uh, your email address, um, and your password. If you go to manage dropkit pass, you can, uh, mine is activated. So this is where you can deactivate it if you want to sell it. So if you were to upgrade one, you would um, sell, you would deactivate the old one and sell it, and then activate the new one here. Um, so mine, I don't want to deactivate it. No, you can, I don't want to. Okay, now let's talk about docs. This is gonna talk about all the stuff. If you ever need help with figuring out what does what, and this the, the video you found doesn't cover it quite yet, everything's here. Overview, the access, the pass, editing metadata. Oof, that's a tough one, we'll get to that. It's a different video. Okay, so now that we're in this site, it actually created a new tab. I'm gonna go back to the one I was just in. Back to this section here and log out. You, well, obviously log out. Your wallet is up here. Um, you can disconnect your wallet, reconnect with a different wallet if you need to. Um, that is all up there at the top. So I'm gonna click the Nifty Kit button again. Back to the main page. And it's gonna load drops first because that's the first one on the left. But um, as we're looking at the drop view, we can see um, the, the various collections, Rent Heads by Jeff Jag, Fiat Heads, and then Shadowbox. And so each one of these little um, cards has the type of token it is. So up here at the corner, you have, um, you have the ERC-721A for Rent Heads, ERC-721 on the top left corner of the Fiat Heads, and same thing for uh, shadow box and then so each one of these has options where you can archive it so if you're like well you know I made a draft I'm not really happy with how that turned out but I don't want to delete it or maybe I want to make a couple versions and get them ready uh, you can archive them here and then you can you can look at your archive view if you want to go access your archive collections view your archive it's under that little three dots and it's just one right now you can restore it here so the this is how you could just keep everything nice and clean really um then the icon of the collection is here um and the banner behind it and then the name of the collection this is the one that was actually written to the chain this is the name here rent heads by jeff jag is the name of the collection that is written in the smart contract rent heads right here underneath it right next to the main net icon is then the token id and then the description, short description underneath that. So each one of these little cards kind of just gives you an overview of the particulars of this drop. Um, you can click into them and it'll show you what the information is for this drop. Get your drop overview, your NFTs, and your pre-sale list. So that's that section. Again, back to Nifty Kit to go back to the main overview the dashboard, as they call it. Then, under the next tab, we have collections. I don't have a collection yet, but I will be making one soon so I can show off the um, the claimables, because that's a really cool feature that Nifty Kit does. And if you want to make a claimable, you have to do it through the collection. This is the revenue split area, where you have 
the revenue splits you've created, which for charities or for collaborations, any type of reason why you'd want to split revenue. You might even want to split it for tax purposes and have one wallet that just takes a percentage out of all your sales. And that way you can do your accounting and that one pretty much just saves the money for paying paying your taxes. You can create your nested revenue splits. So if I were to say needing my tax one and then also donate to a charity, I could put my share as the nested tax split and then split the rest of it with the, the charity. Your last tab over here is token access. So this is where you will create a, um, you can upload your content or redirect to a URL. It could be um, hosted on your website or on another website and essentially means that someone has to have one of the tokens you specify in order to access this. Create, it's a token access, it's like an unlockable. So here, you can edit your profile. You can upload an image, that's your profile image, change the name of your username and your display name, which is slightly different than the one up here where you're kind of working with your account. So your profile and your account are similar, but this is where you manage the Dropkit Pass and your subscription, okay? So this is Nifty Kit Dropkit. And um, it, if you're watching this and you're like, hey, hey now, you just explained all this stuff as if I have a token, but I don't have one. And I'm like, well, then we got you covered because I want you to head over to niftykit.com and check out the Dropkit Pass. They have options here for from 0.15 ETH, which is uh, an amazing deal. This is a lifetime pass, up to 7.5 for the 0% fees. So the basic differences right here you can see is the 0% fees for the highest end, 2.5% fees for the, for the middle tier, and the basic one gets you 5%. Um, so yeah, this is where you do that. You can mint it, uh, you can do it with a card, a, 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 a credit card. So yeah, you wanna pay with a card, you can do that through Winter, very cool. Or you can mint your pass and it'll set up a wallet for you. Or you can just mint your pass through MetaMask. You could do your little MetaMask thing here and it's 0.15, which currently is around $200. So head on over to dropkit.xyz or niftykit.com and you will be able to go ahead and get that dropkit pass.